Some of you may have heard one of our uh, one of our former students, a 2015 grad, uh, Hayden Smith, water polo player and, and a quality student in our community, um, was in a tragic uh, auto accident. And I'm going to call forward uh, Ken Gil, Pastor Ken Gilbor, to uh, lead us in a prayer. If we could be begin with just a moment of silence. Lord, we come to you tonight on behalf of Hayden Smith. Lord, on behalf of his family. Lord, as they're in the hospital, as they're making decisions, Lord, we pray that you would be with them, that you would bring peace in the midst of their storm. And Lord, we pray for Hayden. And physically, Lord, he is very injured. And we lift him up and we ask that you would touch his body. Lord, it will, he will need a miracle. And so we ask for that miracle. We also know that sometimes the miracles don't come as we ask. And so, Lord, I pray that you would give wisdom to the medical team that's serving that family, that you would be with Bill and Andrea, that you would be with his sister Hope and his brother Carter, and that you would touch them and provide a peace that goes beyond understanding. And so, Lord, we place him in your hands and we ask that you would move as you will. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, at a pep rally, it can be difficult to begin with a moment of silence when tragedy and reality kind of set in. Uh, but we don't celebrate evenings like this because we ignore tragedy. We celebrate because we choose to celebrate. And so tonight, as we gather, um, we want to celebrate even in the midst of tragedy. Because as a community, this is the time we come together. And so, just as you would want to support a family in need, we have an opportunity to support our athletes. And so we would encourage you to celebrate wholeheartedly this evening. And so, with that, Scott Graydon.